Come in, don't be embarrassed. Take a seat, take your time. Hi. <laughs> it's terrible when people do that. It's awful. Sorry, my apologies. Thanks for coming, by the way. Glad you made it. About halfway through, probably. Actually, three, one, two, three, yeah. Okay, thank you, Adrian, for that piece. Thank you for um, helping me practice my human metronome qualities. Does everyone know what a metronome is? Good for me. <clears throat> Next um, is a piece by Hugh Crosswhite, and this is the fourth piece Hugh has written for my show. In fact, Hugh was the first person to ever write uh, a backing track. In 2008, he wrote something called Dawn, which was for electric violin and backing track. Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> Ron, did you get that on film? That'll be funny, bloopers, outtakes. Um, so Hugh. Um, wrote something called Dawn with a backing track and this year, you know, five out of eight pieces have a backing track. But back then it was quite um, quite rare for composers, classical composers, to have the skills to also build electronic backing tracks. So I'm really proud of you all, four o'clock people, writing backing tracks because it really helped me. Because this show, if you didn't know, was about discovering young compositional talent and putting on a concert. And that costs a lot of money. So what that means is I can't really work with other musicians, can't really pay a whole lot of other people. So it's it's um yeah, my opportunity to to showcase the works of these hidden talents around you. You could be sitting next to one. Mm, look beside you. Say, are you a composer? Because Sarah will play your music. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, Hugh Crossway writes me Dawn, and then he wrote me something called Cat and Mouse, which is like a Tom and Jerry crazy fight between a cat and a mouse. It was really fun. And um, last year he wrote this beautiful thing called Universe Music, and this year we have something called Counterpoise. <laughs> 